this video we're going to map this Extreme Networks Summit X250E. It has a number of devices connected to it, all of them switches for test purposes. Before mapping any switch, we need to set its parameters. Right here you can hit the settings button or click in this area. This is the IP address of the switch. We're going to use SNMP version 2C. These are the default parameters. The max bulk reps is 8. So we'll test the device. It pinged it. It was able to communicate with it with SNMP and it acts as a switch. So we'll press OK and then we'll map the switch. We're mapping the switch. What that means is we're communicating with the switch and finding out what's on each port. It's going to begin filling the grid with information from the switch. You can see the MAC addresses that appear on the ports and by that we get the interface manufacturer, the port descriptions, the port speeds, the IP addresses, and the LLDP information which shows the exact physical device connected to the port. That's a, a big issue when you look at things like this one which has multiple MAC addresses. We find out that 202 on port 19 is the actual device it's attached to which happens to be this Netgear switch. The rest of these are mirrored from the Netgear switch. In other words, they are all attached to the Netgear switch and we're seeing information from the Netgear about those other devices. Once you have this complete, you can export the data to XML so you can re-import it again or bring it directly into Excel. When you've completed the mapping, this summary report appears in your web browser. You get a variety of information about the switch itself the interfaces and the used and unused Ethernet ports. If you had link aggregation that would show up here. Click on this button to export your data to Tenscape. Save it where you can find it. After opening the Tenscape system online I'm going to go ahead and import the switch port scan that I just did. So what we do is we go to quick access and we find it and click on open. Now it thinks about it a bit. And pretty soon we'll have a map showing what's connected to that switch. So we click on the plus and you can see the other devices connected to the switch. A Procurve switch, the Juniper, the other Extreme Network switches, a Netgear, a Cisco, and another Cisco. So I can use my mouse scroll bar to zoom in you can see information about it. You can see the ports on the remote devices. You can see their IP address and the speed and VLANs of each connection. If we had mapped other switches, we would have more information about what's connected to the other switches. There are many things you can do with this. You can export it, print it, save it as an image, and add additional devices that may not appear and edit these devices as well. That concludes our demonstration of how to map an extreme networks X250E 24 port switch, power over Ethernet, and how to import the data showing the 
connections into the visual mapping software from Tenscape.